Okay, hello everyone, this is Mr. Rob Ronan here again, and today we're going to be going over all of the Eno gameplay that we have so far. Um, because the game's coming out really soon, or the beta's coming out really, really soon. It's actually, like, just tomorrow. So, like, literally in, like, hours. So, I'm so excited, but I wanted to, like, get a compilation of all of the Eno gameplay we have so far. Um, I think we should start with her starter guide, so that, um, we get to see, like, how all of her moves look and stuff. Um, so that when we see the trailers and things, we know exactly what she's doing. So... Let's get into that. Damn, doesn't she look so good? I love the redesigns of all the characters, but Eno in particular. Damn, nice Oki. Look, he's melting. He's melting. Oh. The projectile attack that has slow startup, but the number of hits increases as time passes. Even though this is just like a, like her, like one of her most. What am I saying? This is really awesome. Like, oh. It's so cool looking, it looks amazing, and it's really cool how she can like control how it goes and stuff. And it becomes like such an awesome like multi-hitting tool depending on how far it goes. It's crazy. And it's such cool like Oki okay, because you can make it go down or upwards if you think they're going to jump or something. And if they're really far away then it hits so many times that you can get a combo off of it. It's just, ah, it's so cool. Its long reach makes it a good poke at mid range. So yeah, he kind of emphasizes that it's a lot more of a poke and a combo ender, because it doesn't do too much damage to end combos. Um, but it's kind of like a projectile that she can just throw out. The slash and heavy slash versions have different reaches. Because it was pretty pretty big. But this is also really cool. So she goes under projectiles like we saw it in her trailers and stuff. high profile attacks while attacking. The heavy slash version leaves Eno at advantage when blocked. Damn, that's so cool. So the, the regular slash version isn't, and it it's a bit faster, but the heavy slash one goes a bit further, but it's also plus on block. So look, she does what? She does slash into forward heavy slash, which looks awesome. Then into that, and if they decide to block that, then you get ah your advantage and block, so you can go for more things as well. Damn it, she's so cool. Yeah, so these are all of her dive kicks. Pressing the button at the moment on hit or block will so basically the kick version she goes very down forward. slash version she goes like 45 degrees and heavy slash she goes straight holding across the down until the end of the move boosts its attack properties mm, so holding it down if it's one of the like downwards one like kick or slash then it gets a, like a bounce and the heavy slash I guess gets like a pop-up or something um but he also forgot to mention in this video that um if you he showed it a little bit though so she can do like a bounce. At the moment on hit or block will change the trajectory of Oh, he did say kind of. So like if you do the kick version where she goes down really steeply and if you press kick again as it hits, she'll do an extra bounce, which leads to some really tricky mix-up stuff. So she can go for a double overhead instead of just going like overhead into low, and she can stick in the air and then go for another dive kick into bounce and another dive kick into bounce. It's crazy. It's crazy stuff, and that's also really good for combos because it makes her aerial combos way better because she can keep like bouncing and linking together different dive kicks. It's crazy. And yeah, so she can get combos from that. And then, damn, that does good damage. Oh, this was so crazy when I saw it. Sorry, I shouldn't get that. But like, we had kind of seen like glimpses of it before in our trailer. But one, we had not seen the whole thing. And two, we didn't know it was a command grab, a proximity command grab. Oh, it gets better. It gets better. I'll shut up, but just watch this. Extremely damaging command grab. Although it can't be blocked, it will whiff unless you are very close to the opponent. Eno launches a sea of projectiles forward from the attack force. Uh, what? So, it's an unblockable overdrive. So it's an unblockable super that does pretty wild damage, but it's only unblockable if they're quite close to you, so he says it's like a command grab. So, pretty crazy stuff, considering she also has ridiculous mix-ups and stuff. So she's got, like, plus on block things and pressure, and so, like, when you're going for all these mix-ups and they're, like, trying to block you and make sure you don't get an extra overhead or squeeze in a low or go for plus on block, just, you can literally throw this, this ultimate attack and it's unblockable and she gets, like, half health. It's crazy, and it looks awesome. Look at that. Oh my god. Yeah, look. And Anji doesn't have, like, really low health. That did a huge amount of damage. Like, imagine a poor character like Chip. Like, he's just trying to block your plus unblock things, or, like, trying to not get hit by the overhead, and then BAM! Like, 70% of his life is gone, because you didn't overdrive. It's crazy. And look, if it whiffs, because you can see, like, 
she only has like this radius here where it's an actual command grab. But if she whiffs it, she doesn't just like whiff it and nothing happens. Look what happens when she whiffs it. So like, you know, she wasn't close enough to hit it. And then all of a sudden these red things appear all over the screen and boom, <laughs> she just launches all of these projectiles all over the screen that even did a big amount of damage anyways. So like if they get hit by it either way, like maybe they like whiffed something, you're still getting a big chunk of damage. You don't get the whole command grab and stuff, but damn, it looks so cool. It looks so cool. <laughs> Like, you don't get the huge, like, command grab animation and stuff, like this thing with the wings. But, like, she gets all these, like, projectiles that go, like, all over, like, the signs on the screen, like a really old boss battle, like, thing. Like, oh, iconic. <laughs> She's amazing. A move where Eno leaps in the air and unleashes a powerful projectile attack around her. So we've seen this before. It's her invincible reversal ultimate. In the aerial version of this move, Eno unleashes the projectile immediately, and there is no invincibility during the startup. Also, are they trying to show us that that's plus on block? I don't think so, but they make it look like it. But if that's plus on block, that's kind of crazy. In the corner, because <laughs> she's such an airborne character, so she can like dash up, do her air attacks, do a dive kick, leap out, and then if this this the is airborne. plus on block, she can just throw it out. And if you get hit by it, like if you get hit by one of the overheads, then bam, you just like lose a chunk of your health. But then if they also block it and she's still advantage on block, and there is, no invincibility is she? Because that would be ridiculous if she is. <laughs> Start her incredibly strong offense with her hover dash. Get close enough to launch her fierce offense using her. Damn! Look! Look at all those overheads from her just like charging up. And like, this is against Chip, like I was saying before. So see how he's like trying so hard to like block all of these overheads that she's throwing out because she gets good Oki. Overhead, overhead, overhead. Low, plus on block, RC. And if she had, she could have just thrown in her freaking like unblockable megalomania, uh, like ultimate there and then bam, he's like dead. <laughs> She can distract the opponent yeah, so here we get to see how Chemical loves like a really good like poke tool, kind of like a projectile. She just keeps like whacking Potemkin with it. And then look at all of her air movement as well. He didn't even talk about it in this video, but like her air dashes, she can control like the direction and the angle and stuff she goes in, which is crazy. Look at her, like up, backwards, throw a projectile. She could have done a dive kick or like a straight dive kick. That's blah, 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 she's too good. <laughs> Using Megalomania <coughs> to deal major damage to the Anyways, when they're focused on blocking. At least we'll be able to play her soon and we won't be <laughs> We won't be left dying to play her for too much longer since I can literally play her in a few hours. But damn, she is so so freaking cool looking. Oh my god. So let's just go over her trailers and stuff and the other gameplay that we've seen of her. Like damn. Look at her. She makes such a good big bag villain. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Let's look at what we're actually doing. I kind of zoned out for a second there. Okay, so she dashes up and then jumps out of her dash, then completely dodges poor Leo's thing. Goes in for a little combo there into Chemical Love to finish. Double punch into... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, see that? Into the... Yes, so stroke the big tree she can combo off of. And I guess if she was in a corner, or maybe, like, depending on the combo, she can get more off of it. But then she just did Chemical Love off of it. But, like, damn, that combo was cool. Good conversion. Counter hit off of that. She can just jump in the air. Gets the wall splat. And then because... See, that actually used the leap in a combo, because she wouldn't have been able to, like, combo off of that, probably, because she would have had too much recovery. But after that sideways dive kick, she was able to do the leap, and then do another aerial, like, attack. That was her jump slash, I think. And then, damn... Okay, her invincible reversal ultimate thing. Okay. Oh, you got hit by an overhead. Bam, gone. And if it's advantage like we think, that's wild. Because <laughs> he, he died either way. If it, she's at advantage, you're advantage or he's dead. <laughs> it's a win-win. Damn. She looks too good. Her design's too good and her gameplay is too good. Too good! I don't understand. Arxis. You're too good at your job. Okay, where's the next trailer? Okay, here's the next one. Mm, so this is her character reveal trailer. 
So she actually has some cutscenes and stuff, because, you know, she's the big baddie. As she deserves to be. Okay, more overheads. Overhead, 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 overhead. Oh, you messed up? She got grabbed. Stroke the big tree, counter hit, get a combo from that. Ooh, look at all those clashes. Actually, wait, that's the only time we've seen her do her standing punch in all of her gameplay. Oh, whoa, that went far. But look. Um, it's the kiss, like, in the old game. Um, in, like, X-Red. But, like, we hadn't seen it before, so that's pretty cool. I wonder if that will look pretty weird, though, because you know how a lot of the time you can only link punches into punches. So, like, will she just be, like, rapid kissing when she does that? I'm curious to see what that looks like. Ooh, look at all that pressure. Even from far away, she has pressure because she's all these, like, long-reaching specials and stuff. So, like, her note reaches that far, and then... Hit to block that, then Chemical Love went straight... Oh, it, does it go through his projectile? It cancelled it out completely. Ooh, big baddie, look. Punish. With the dust. Here we see some tag team stuff, but we don't care about that right now. Look at all this. Look at all Oki against two characters. And then bam, you got hit by the unblockable, buddy. We don't get to see it all here, but like, oh, we know it looks cool. Oh yeah, and then here we get to see some of her, um, like, poses and stuff. Her taunts and her idols. Wait, did we see the super controversial one? The one that people are complaining about because there's no loot anymore? Oh no, they didn't- I didn't have it in this, damn it! But I'm sure you've seen it. If you've been following it, there was huge outrage against she doesn't have the lewd side poop um, victory pose anymore. Which, yeah, so outrageous. Jeez. <laughs> and then Megalomania. Ah, this looks so good. And the fact that it's so cool as well, it's a command grab, and if you miss the command grab, she shoots the projectiles anyways. Oh yeah, there we go, that's it. People getting so mad that she doesn't have the side move. Come on. <laughs> okay, and then this is from the Arc System Works live stream where they showed off Eno and Anji. So we get to see a little bit of her gameplay. Yeah, as we know. So she's very, very aerial based and mix up based. And even pressure based now with her like plus one block, um, stroke the big tree. And Oki, she's got everything, buddy. <laughs> she's too good. But yeah, her most unique stuff is how she's so good at being airborne from her, like, riding her guitar like a broom <laughs> in a dash. She lacks the ground game. Does she really lack that much ground game? She's got, like, a slide that goes onto projectiles and is plus on block. She's got, a like, a very long-reaching um, chemical love, yeah. Which is like basically projectile, and if she thinks she has time, she can throw out the note, which there's a crazy projectile as well. Like, damn, I don't think she struggles that hard for in the neutral or on the ground. She's she's she doesn't have it that rough. Yeah, so we've seen this. So that's a slash version. The slash version really doesn't go that far. I wonder if it's going to mainly be used in combos, like, because maybe the heavy slash version is too slow to hit in combos. Because, like, if you want to go under projectiles, you want to be going far. I feel like in most circumstances, when you're not doing a combo, you want to do the heavy slash. Because it's plus on block and it goes further. Antidepressant scale, that's what it's called. I'm not gonna say that every time I wanna say the note though. But even after like you get like a down kick into a sweep, like a down kick into down dust, it already does like three hits at that point, so like it does a bunch of hits and she can get a combo from it. It's pretty wild. 
great move for cutting off your opponent's options, right? You can send it upwards, and now they can't jump anymore, the castle gets grounded, or you can send it along the ground and force them to block, which lets you go in. Damn, look, she was even able to combo off of it full screen. From a jump attack that's an overhead, man, she's crazy. And then she gets so all of her jumping the, pressure yeah, going. Uh, she's a crazy lady. Already, that she does not have the same kind of air dash as the other characters in the castle. She does not have the sort of slow uh, startup air dash where you have the sigil behind her. She instantly does a down. Mm, okay, so it starts up faster because she doesn't have to like jump off of that, the like the room thing that you see other characters do. But it, it, she travels a little bit slower. But she also travels in an arc. I mean, in an angle, which means, like, if you're high in the air and you want to go in for a jump attack, you basically, get, like, land straight on them. So you get to go, like, bam, and your, like, air attacks aren't going to whiff, so... Crazy, crazy. Super oppressive. Uh, yeah, super oppressive. She also has special moves in the air that can also alter her trajectory. So she has sultry performance, which is her dive kick that has three different variations, all at different angles. So if you do core circle forward and kick... She'll go down at a pretty steep angle. Slash sends you at about a 45 degree angle. And Heavy Slash sends you completely horizontal. So yep. you can use these uh, on offense to mix up your opponent. Alter her air trajectory as you're approaching. And each version also has different properties on hit. So the kick one will leave them on the ground. The Slash causes a soft knockdown. And then the Heavy Slash will pop them up into the air. If uh, you watch her trailer very carefully, she also has follow-up off of Sultry Performance, where if you press the same button you used for the dive kick, she can hop cancel on hit, which gives her access which, to some really dirty mix-ups. Yeah, that's really dirty mix-ups. All the overheads in a row. And because she can get that off of like any dashing, like she goes for a dash, into a jumping attack, into the dive kick, into the jump from the dive kick, into something else, into a dive kick, into the jump from the dive kick, and then, oh, maybe she grabbed you, oops, maybe she went for low, or maybe she just keeps going on the overheads. <laughs> it's crazy. And if she gets you with a low, she can go for, like, the, the, like, the, uh, la, 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 la. what's it called? Antidepressant scale, <laughs> the note Okizeme. So, like, you have to block on, like, block on wake up and deal with more mix again. Or she can, like, if you she sees you get hit, you can just go for a, her combos, which seem pretty, pretty crazy. So you'll recognize that move if you played Eno in previous games. Uh, there are two different versions of the Super Net. There's an aerial version that starts up inst instantly, and there's also a ground version, which is a reversal. So while the ground version takes longer to start up, the animation where she's flying up into the air with the kick is actually invincible. So you can use it on wake up uh, mm. as a reversal get off to sort of thing. She even has an inst like... Invincible reversal. It's crazy. Or you can use it in the air. Oh, okay. That's good to know though. She can't really combo into it too easy, it doesn't seem. She can easily combo into the air version, but yeah, from the ground maybe she'll have a bit of trouble comboing uh, into her um, overdrives for our supers. Uh, trailer, but unfortunately it is not finished yet, so we can't uh, don't worry, we already saw it, buddy. But she is familiar to you know players from the days of old. A lot of her are going to be the same. You're going to see a lot of sweep into note. There we go. Sweep into note. Oh, um, wall break. She also has been translated into the Strive engine where uh, her mobility is, is a little bit different. She has some new tricky mix ups that she can use. Lots of really he called it the Strive engine, and I think what he's referring to there is <clears throat> the smell of the game. Thank you very much, sir. But honestly, I, whatever it is, whatever that smell is, whatever the engine is, I love it. Strive is so satisfying. But, anyways, that's all the gameplay we have. Hope you enjoyed, and I hope you're excited to play some Strive, because we can play very, very soon, so, yeah, let's play soon. By the time you see this, it'll probably already be out, but anyways, thanks so much for watching all the way through this, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!